Hickok 45 here. I'm your guardian, as in 1911. Yes, from Dan Wesson, chapter two. Let's shoot something. <laughs> Woo! How about this guy? How about that guy? <laughs> We're out of ammo. And that mag didn't lock us back. All right. So Dan Wesson mag, I'll be darned. All right, let's shoot some pot. Get started the right way. Oh man, look at that smoke. Look at that pot smoke. And there's some smoke in that barrel. And we'll stir up the fire. That bowling pin. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. You think you're getting away, don't you, bud? Well, I got news for you. Dan Wesson is going to pick you off. What I tell you? <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Forty-five caliber. So they tend to knock the limbs around on that tree, don't they? Yeah, it's chapter two. I'm just going to shoot. I'm not going to talk to you. You wish, right? <laughs> you wish. All right? Maybe I won't talk too much. Oh, isn't that a beauty? Yeah, I just was in the mood to shoot it again and invited you along. Good old, because this is my carry 1911. Okay, when I carry, you know, this is it. Lightweight, aluminum frame, ramped barrel. I've gone over, over all the things I like about this. Maybe I'll link to the first, second video. We did a suppressed video with it. It's uh, pretty cool. It really is. I still want to find a little fatter grips, maybe some VZ grips, uh, you know, with the bobtail. But uh, that's about the only change I plan to make to it. So uh, I'm still not certain about locking the slide back. Uh, I may have to you know, get a gunsmith look at that. I don't know. I'm, uh, that's one reason I wanted to bring it out and shoot uh, a variety of mags again, just have some fun with it. And, uh, you know, do that. So again, we appreciate it. shoot this thing. I loaded up some mags. I don't know if I shoot them all, but I got a couple of loaded mags out here. And let's just play a little bit. That one's empty. Dead soldier there. Okay, what are we going to shoot? I don't know. You know me, I like to shoot all sorts of things. Maybe that's why I have <laughs> such a variety of targets, right? <laughs> yeah, steel, bowling pins, two pins. Uh, cinder block. Look at that. Boom. Oh, cowboy, click. Yep, that one didn't lock it back. I'll find you. Okay, let's work on that cinder block some more. Let's put it in the holster and let's pretend that cinder block is an adversary. For my relatives in Kentucky, that means an opponent, the enemy. Okay, pull him out. <laughs> we chewed him up. We chewed him up, didn't we? Oh man, chewed him up. Chewed him up. How about the gong? Let's put one on the gong. No, let's don't. We're empty. So we still have a slide lock problem. All right. Do I have, oh, I need some more ammo. Yeah, yeah, it went back to Dan Wesson for that to fix it, but uh, it's just not quite fixed, is it? All right, let's, uh, I'm going to put several. I know y'all like to see, especially this time of the evening. Sometimes you can see the bullet travel. So I'll devote at least this whole mag to the gong. Unless I miss it every shot. I don't know if I want to miss it seven or eight times or not. Let's see, where do I hold? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, I must be going... Well, let's just hold down a little bit. Now let's hold up some. There we go. All right, I need to work on that some more, don't I? I thought I was uh, adjusting my hold properly. I think I was hitting it when I got a good release and I was uh, leveling it up right on top of it. Let's try that again. Take our time. There we go. But that was low. Yep, 
got to hold right on top and get a good, good trigger pull. Imagine that. I see a cinder block over there too. Maybe we chew up a little more cinder if I can hit it. All right, that's all I wanted to see—a little smoke. See if it's a buffalo hunter. All right, it's a buffalo gun. Let's see if it's a cowboy gun right here. I believe it is. Wilson locked it back. <laughs> oh, there's one. See if it has. Oh, it's an empty. It's an empty. I forgot my mag pouch. Will y'all forgive me for being unprepared for combat duty? Yep. The old 45 slings around <laughs> those arms around either direction. It's a, a heavy bullet. It might not be fast, but it's heavy. Ooh. Nothing like slinging big old 45 slugs. Most of you know what I'm talking about. That's a 230 grain hardball. It's, uh, yeah, it's just classic. The round our military carried back in 1911. Can you believe that? How about some red targets? Oh, didn't like that. All right. Wilson combat <laughs> yeah these are just wonderful guns again uh, that's the only issue I've had with it that uh, uh, knock on wood I don't think I've had a, a hang-up like failure to feed failure to eject anything like that over the months I've had it and this is uh, at least the third video we've done with it uh, it's just uh, getting that slide to lock back seems to be the only issue all right Let's shoot a little bit more. Put him in the holster again. And, uh, oh, I don't know what needs to be shot. What do you think? How about let's go over there and get us a ram? The ram is uh, feeling lucky because he didn't have to go down with the uh, buffalo. Yeah, not too lucky. Let's try something smaller like that pig in the same row. All right. And uh, I don't know. I'm about finished. Let me shoot the tree here. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> it's fun watching those limbs uh, get slung around because, uh, yeah, as you know, I have shot them with about everything you can imagine. I am perspiring like there's no tomorrow. I don't know why. It couldn't be because it's about 95 degrees and uh, humid and all that today. But we don't care. We don't let it stop us from our serious work here on the range, right? Uh, yeah, it's interesting to see what different rounds do to the tree limbs. Uh, 45, nine, you know, 38 special, 357 Magnum, 10 millimeter, and y'all have witnessed it all. If you've not, you can still do it because these videos are up forever, I hope. Let's, let's shoot one more mag, can I? You thought I was leaving, I did too, but I felt that heavy mag in my pocket, just wanting to be emptied. That was the feeling I got. So let's just spread around the love here a little bit. <laughs> yeah, share the lead, share the copper. So the old Guardian, uh, other than not uh, wanting to lock back sometimes on the slide, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great shooter. It feels good, it's not very heavy, and it's uh, one of my, uh, uh, I don't know, favorite, uh, choices that I've made in the last couple of three years 1911 that uh, actually is not just a classic 
firearm, an example, you know, we all have, not all of us, but many of us have 1911s just because they're so cool, like an old single action or something. Uh, this one is cool, the classic design, but it's also something that might just uh, get you out of a scrape. You never know. Pretty cool gun. So I'm glad to have it and uh, get that one little issue with the uh, not always locking uh, back on an empty magazine. Other than that, she's been a, a great performer and uh, I'm happy to bring it out again. And I'm especially happy you were here to, to witness. And uh, I don't think I thanked uh, silencercentral.com because you probably saw the last video with this firearm. Maybe I'll link to the first video and the second one, which was uh, the Guardian suppressed. I think we did nothing but, you know, shoot the uh, Banish 45, you know, suppressor uh, through the Banish 45 <laughs> suppressor uh, in, in that video with, with this, this firearm. So uh, a lot of suppressed action, you know, with this particular pistol in, in that video. So anyway, we appreciate silencercentral.com for that. And I appreciate y'all coming out to help me sling some 230 grain slugs. Life is good. Oh, fire. It's a long walk from where I had to shoot that. Oh, man. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Since you're here, I want to let you know about our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. TalonGunGrips.com. Check out everything they have over there. You can get lots of different grips, the stick-on grip textures for your handguns and rifle grips. So go check them out. Also, Ballastall. They're a firearms lubricant or anything else you might need lubricating. Uh, it's water soluble and non-toxic. Been using it on the compound and cleaning all of our guns. It's a cleaner and a lube for over 10 years. So Ballastall, Talon Grips, definitely check both of those companies out. And also, while you're on the internet, don't forget to go to Hickok45.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Hickok45, Twitter, Hickok45, Instagram, The Real Hickok45. And also, I have an Instagram page where I post behind the scenes stuff and different things like that. John, J O H N underscore H I C K O K 45 on Instagram. And uh, the next thing you have to do is watch more videos.